Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Central Valley Today. I'm Alex Delgado. Hope you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Coming up, it's that time of the year again. Start getting your toys ready because the U.S. Marines need them. Where you can donate to Toys for Tots and have a good time with your family. Plus, we're chatting it up with the Monsters hockey team. Hear how the team did this weekend. But we begin with a new organization helping teens deal with their sexuality. Central Valley Today begins right now. Pod movement has started in the Central Valley to help in combating the feelings of isolation and fear so many people um, in the youth have. The nonprofit organization called Rainbow Delegation was formed last month with the sole purpose of providing gay and lesbian youth the support they need. Joining us now is the founder, Matthew Maisie, Maisie with the yes. Rainbow Delegation. Good morning to you, Matthew. Morning. Happy Monday to you. You too. Thank you for having me. All right. So how long ago did you start the Rainbow Delegation? And tell us exactly what you do there. Um, the concepts came to me um, about in August of this year. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up in the Central Valley, and I know how difficult it can be to grow up gay mm -hmm. in, in areas such as this. And so over you know, the past few months, I had been having more and more gay youth coming to me, needing to talk, needing someone to understand them. And the feeling I was, get, I was getting amongst them was that very commonly they felt very afraid and very isolated like they had no one else that supported them, no one else they could talk to. Mm -hmm. And I knew that there was a lot more support in the community than they actually realized. The problem was that they just really couldn't recognize it. It wasn't, it wasn't visual to them. I see, okay. And so what I decided was that if, if the support in the community was something, was, if it was a visual presence, mm -hmm. if it was recognizable, it would go a long way into helping them not feel so isolated and alone. Um, and they would know exactly who to go to and who exactly, they could talk to, exactly. right? Who was there to support Who was support safe, them. who was supportive. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. And how did you do that? Because we're looking at pictures of everybody with these yes. rainbow-colored bracelets. Does that yes. have anything to do with it? Well, it, yes, it, it does. It, it, just, it started with just a couple dozen. Uh -huh. I bought a couple dozen, and I got them to my close friends. Mm -hmm. And what happened then was, you know, then people were seeing them like, oh, I want one, I want one. And then it just kind of snowballed from there. And so far, we've been able to pass out um, over 5,000. So, and we're continuously getting more and more requests, um, different cities, different states, even different countries. People are contacting me um, through the website rainbowdelegation.org and through our Facebook. Wanting these wristbands, yes. these colored wristbands. Mm -hmm. And now everybody, I, I, just from looking at these pictures, you could tell that it's maybe not people that aren't even gay want these, pic these exactly. wristbands, right? Exactly, right. Okay. No, the, the wristband only means that you are supportive and that you are somebody safe and supportive that they can they can come to talk to or that you know you you are there um, that you accept them for who they are and so we have people encompassing all age ranges all races and all sexual orientations it says that the newly formed group on Facebook has more than 700 members right yeah and you just started this yeah just how does that make ago. you feel well it, it feels great um, we have people from all countries now joining up at the Facebook group. There's over 200 photos that people have posted with their wristbands so that everyone can get connected and see all the other people active. What kind of reaction have you gotten from a lot of these youth? It's actually been quite good. Um, I have some people coming to me. There's a high school student at Clovis High that told me that he was always very afraid to come out. He didn't think that anyone would be supportive, that he would have anyone. and most all of his friends now are wearing wristbands. There's over, I think, over 100, almost 200 wristbands at Clovis High. There's over 200 wristbands being worn by the staff and students at Sanger High also. Um, and then also Fresno State, Fresno City, and then even some c church communities have gotten involved. How do you think they hear about it? Word of mouth. It's definitely very grassroots. Mm -hmm. I mean, Facebook has been awesome, obviously, to help us connect. It's, it's a great networking mm -hmm. tool. It is. Um, but mainly what happens is, you know, we'll have wristbands, I'll give them to a friend, and then all their friends want one, so then I'll get them more. And so it's, it's definitely spreading word of mouth. Do they cost anything? It does cost, yes. Okay. All the wristbands so far have been given free of charge mm -hmm. to anyone who wishes to wear one and support. And so all the funding comes directly from donations. 
Okay, so if you can pay for one, then it would be like you donating for it. Exactly. Okay. The donations are never required. They're, of course, always appreciated, and people can do that via the website, rainbowdelegation.org, if they do choose to get involved financially or also to request a wristband. Your main goal here, Matthew, your mission? <sighs> My mission is just to create an environment that is accepting and safe. I think it's very important, especially now we have so much focus on the anti-bullying with the tragic suicides that have occurred in the LGBT community that I think sometimes as a community we forget that we can take a more proactive positive approach mm -hmm. and so I think the anti-bullying legislation and the it gets better campaign is fantastic but everyday people I think want a way that they can help out with that process mm -hmm. and show their support and I think with the you know very simple the little wristband is a very easy way that they can do that. Very visible, easy way to yeah. show that you are in support of each human being. Yes. It's, right. I don't see this as a political issue at all, but one of humanity and love, and, and that's it. Well, with that being said, thank you so much. Very well said, I well, should say, you. Matthew. And congratulations on what you've started. I'm sure you've, you've helped out a lot, a lot of children. And I do have a gift for you Yay. as well. You get one. I was going to ask you yes. for one. Very you nice. Are. Thank you so much. Well, thank I you think very it's much great that you're doing this. Uh, Rainbowdelegation.org. I know okay. I said .com there, but it's actually .org, .org. Right? Either way, it goes to our website. Oh, either way. Either way. Either way. Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Matthew. Good well, luck to you. you. Thank you. All right, stick around, folks. Still to come here on Central Valley.